Another outstanding Goodwill find. I swear I am not making this up. When you see what somebody donated, this is ridiculous. And I only paid $13.50 for these. <laughs> Authentic vintage NBA to all size large, all, for all size 48. I mean, look at the condition. These are screen printed numbers. These had to be taken care of very well. I mean, these had to be taken care of very well. There's no cracks or nothing in the screen print. Only paid 13 bucks for all 40s. If I get eight bucks out of each jersey, I make $32 so for. 1350 investment to get 10 bucks i mean 40 bucks you know i don't know if i'm gonna sell them as a live or individually but I mean, it's crazy kobe shaq anthony harley and grand hill throwbacks so if you want them you know where to look grab this for three dollars perfect condition bam nebraska jersey it already sold on ebay buy it now 30 bucks i spent three dollars on it why is this jersey so important? Because number three is Taylor Martinez, who happens to be Nebraska's best player this year. So as soon as I saw this, I just snatched it off the rack. I was like, nobody else is getting this. Nobody else is seeing this. So yeah, that's just a quick deal of the day. Just an update, made a little bit of money on this. Made, you know, 30 something bucks off a of $3, $3 investment. That's before shipping, but it's cool. So, my man Anthony asked me a question about the thrift store finds. I'm going to answer it for him real quick in the video. Um, he asked me, what kind of things do I look for in am I slow nickel or fast dime? Oh, I keep getting that wrong. Slow dime or fast nickel type of guy. I'm not going to make this light. Toasty! Anyways, I guess just give me more time to blog. Um... The kind of stuff I look for really are things I know. So I really know about clothing and I know about sports. So that's the kind of stuff I look for. I'm going out, I look for mainly sports things, clothing. I really like advertising. I don't know too much about what's worth stuff, but I'll take a shot on something if it's like an old Coca-Cola. I haven't seen old Coca-Cola anywhere though because I know that's worth something. But really just, I stay in the clothing and then the sports, things that are newer, things that look new, things that I can put right on eBay so rather quickly. Um, and if you want to get in the game, and if you just don't know what to look for, you know, you can just pick a niche. Like, if you see, like, your thrift store has a whole bunch of, like, golf clubs, like, as you said, like, you can, you can go on eBay and figure out what brand is the, is the best brand and go to your thrift store and just pick out that brand. And if you have an um, iPhone or a drawer, you can just get an eBay app and do it right there in the store, which no one ever cares to really notice what you're doing anyways. Um, so really, oh, and really, um, for me, I'm more of a fast nickel type of guy, you know. I don't like to hold stuff for a while unless there's a price I really know I can get for it. If I can't get the price that I know I can get, then I'll hold on to it for a little while and wait to get that price. Because usually on eBay... Things sell. I mean, if you put things up there at a, at a, at a nice enough, like a 30% discount or a 20% discount, it's going to sell pretty quickly. So that's what I like to do. I like to get the things as cheap as possible. That's why I shop at the thrift store, get a shirt for three dollars or whatever. Get a couple of them, put them in the lot. I did a lot thing. I always sell lots if I can, unless it's not like an unusual item, like a jersey or something like that, where I don't think somebody will would necessarily want to have everything in the lot and I'll piece it out but really I like to have lots I like to underprice my lots because I can get my lots so cheap because I'm getting the items for two and three dollars a piece I can turn around and sell the whole lot for like nine bucks and make and make um a profit on the very first bid and usually in that last hour that's when all your bids are going to come in and you'll make you know you'll make double or triple your money if you do this, if you sell things in lots and start your bidding off at a good enough discount to get the bids flowing. So that's what I like to do. That's just my thing. I hope that really helped you out. 
if you need any more help or anything like that, you know, just hit me up. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But other than that, anybody else who's doing this, this is a quick way to make some money. It's pretty much like going to the bank, and every time you walk in the door, you double your money. I mean, how many times would you do that if that happened? If there was a place that you could go in, every time you walk through the door, you double every dollar in your pocket. How many times would you go to that store? Exactly. You would go as much as possible.